John, this is the latest uh, wedding balance that we have here at STNS. It's a Microtronics LB210. This is a 300 model. Um, currently configured for a solder bath test, which I'm going to run for you now in a minute. Um, computer controlled, obviously, and I'll show you the uh, parameter screen in a second. But also wanted to show you our latest automated dip and look tester as well. Um, we have, I think, quoted this to Toronto so that solderability testing can be done uh, per the requirements of DLA with an automated tester. So before we can start a test, we need to uh, tell the machine what we're going to test. In this case, it's going to be an immersion silver PWB stripe, or we call it a stripe, but it's the IPC test coupon. So we need to tell the sample or the machine the uh, dimensions of the coupon, the width of the coupon, the amount of wettable perimeter of the coupon, the thickness of the coupon. Then we have parameters such as immersion speed, withdrawal speed, dwell time, immersion depth, uh, temperature, density of the solder, surface tension of the flux, if we use preheat or not, etc. So we need to tell the computer all the parameters necessary to run the test and then we will run the test once uh, the machine has reached temperature in which case for this test, because we're testing with tin lead, it's going to be 235 Celsius. The coupon that we're going to test is placed into a tool holder and then this is going to get placed into the machine once it is fluxed with excess flux removed by blotting. The coupon has just been fluxed with excess flux blotted away and this is a little tool to make sure that it is flat and parallel to the surface prior to testing. So now I'm going to place the tool holder with the sample onto the machine and then I'm going to come and press F9 which is the start sequence and then it is going to go through the operation. So the draw scrapers come over, now the part is going to come down and the machine is going to identify where it is relative to the solder bath. Initially when a test is run for the first time it is much slower than subsequent testing because it starts to recognize what type of samples you're testing. sample is going to come down just before it enters the solder. It's going to stop. The heater is going to turn off so there's no electrical noise and the sample is immersed into the solder to a depth of half a millimeter in this case. And you can see the wetting that goes on. And These are probably five-year-old immersion solar samples. Sample is withdrawn, and if we come over to the screen, you see the graph, and then we're going to save this data by pressing save and close.